The Terramar Project Comes to Texas, a virtual scrapbook by Rebecca Nix and Christine Maxwell, to thank all who made this visit possible. Fall is a busy time for everyone, especially educators, so we were especially happy that the Terramar Project could come to Dallas for a couple of highly productive days. Terramar's message is critical to each of us, and we were happy to help raise awareness of the ocean's plight throughout our local community and across the great state of Texas. Our most special thanks go to UT Dallas's School of Interdisciplinary Studies and its Teacher Development Center for their amazing support of this effort and their ongoing interest in the work. UTD's McDermott Library team stepped up as well, as evidenced by the new acquisitions used to create this month-long exhibit. The schools of Natural Sciences and Mathematics and Economic, Political, and Policy Sciences were also actively involved in making this a great success. Everyone's hard work was rewarded with an absolutely gorgeous Texas day. And so we welcomed the Terramar Project to Texas, specifically to UT Dallas, on November 19th. We officially kicked off the day with the Dean's Lunch. The centerpiece was significant in several key ways. First, seven different flowers in various colored water represented the seven seas. The multicolored curling ribbon suspended lengthwise specifically acknowledged the high seas. Second, the fossil ammonite represented the land, terra, and the present-day corollary, the chambered nautilus shell, represented the ocean, mar. Each of the supporting buoys displayed both the Terramar flag and the UTD banner. The striped runner represented the interdisciplinary connections catalyzed by this visit. And last but not at all least, the plastic coat hangers at each end started Geelan's work to create the Terramar project and provided a starting point for the day's conversation. A lovely lunch fueled excellent discussions and set the stage for sharing many stories as deep connections were made across departments. The afternoon was dedicated to focused roundtable discussions with faculty and staff. These meetings centered on educational outreach and scientific research with folks who can make a real difference by working together. Each of the deans, FAIR, SAFELY, Novak, and DEAN, received a certificate of Ocean Parcel Sponsorship from the Terramar team in appreciation of their support. You can get one, too, on the Terramar website. And then it was time for the Seminar for Lifelong Learners to begin in UT Dallas's Clark Center. The event was free and open to the public. The presentation was live streamed and is available online today. To allow folks time to make their way to campus, we started with the reception, which included oceans of popcorn. This mainly gave people a chance to meet the Terramar team and to continue discussions in a less formal setting. Promptly, Dean George Fair introduced Geelan Maxwell, founder and president of the Terramar Project. She delivered a fantastic presentation that included her own images from her very interesting explorations and put the issues into perspective. With some shocking details, the first weather report from the high seas, a sense of what the oceans are really worth to us, and explained not what we should do, but what we must do to slow the damage we're doing to this most vital resource. But she didn't stop there. The Terramar Project offers ways that each of us can help right now. That's their goal. So check out the website for the latest. Having provided a broader knowledge and deeper understanding about the future of our oceans, Geelan turned it back to us, and the audience had a chance to ask really pressing questions. Check out the video archive to learn more. The next morning, on November 20th, Geelan was a featured speaker at the statewide Conference for the Advancement of Science Teaching, where close to 7,000 science teachers had converged in Dallas. This special jam session presentation was sponsored by the Informal Science Education Association. ISEA President Cappy Smith happily introduced Terramar to the membership. Geelan told about the infamous plastic hangar that was her first and very moving view of the ocean floor. 
Rob Foos, Director of Development for Terramar, and Geelan very much enjoy the opportunity to share ideas with Texas classroom teachers and informal science center staff. And it's always fun to meet other dual citizens of land and sea. Be sure to pick up your passport for just a click on the Terramar website. Lunch with leaders from the Texas Marine Educators Association and Texas Parks and Wildlife Department didn't get in the way of sharing even more great ideas. Thanks to everyone who supported Terramar's visit to Texas this fall. We hope to see y'all at UT Dallas soon. Thanks again, Geelan, for pursuing your passion and for making it possible for each of us, as global citizens, to become proactively involved in taking care of one of our most valuable assets. <laughs>